John, one of the most frequently asked questions that I get from our members is how do we uh, take a specification that is predominantly cast in place and create more opportunity for precast? I, th I think the first thing for a precaster is, is having good relationships with specifiers and owners and, and building that on the front end of a job. Mm -hmm. But what we find is we look at every project that has a cast in place component to it. We look at it as how can we build that with precast. John, I wonder if you could tell me a little bit about the, just the general inception of this project and what the city was looking to accomplish and how they were looking to accomplish what they were given the time frame that the, the you had to work The city's with. intent was that Georgia Street would be the main anchor to the entertainment district down here and be the walkway between the basketball arena, the convention center, and then Lucas Oil Stadium. And they wanted all that done prior to the Super Bowl. In the case of this project, there were some underlying beams under the boardwalk support structure. So when we went in to see the estimator, we looked at the project, the first thing that jumped off the page were three utility vaults that were cast in place, mm -hmm. 10 by 18, 10 foot deep. So that became the start. Well, we can precast that. And here's the advantages of precast, you know, less site work, less open excavation, safety concerns, shortening your work schedule, less traffic interruption. So then you start the conversation and in turn, that estimator is going back to the architect, the engineer and saying, hey, look, did you consider using this precast? If, if you look over here, you can kind of take a look under the boardwalk and if you pull it out, and it's not pretty, but if you look, you can see the concrete precast support beams that are supporting the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. And then to the interior of it by your feet mm -hmm. is where essentially the wet well is or the underground reservoir. So this drainage comes off the boardwalk, comes off the street, goes into this underground detention basin, mm -hmm. and then it's pulled out and that's what waters all the plant and greenery along the, along the edge of the boardwalk. So before we were done of the cast in place stuff in the center of this project with the detention basin uh, for the boardwalk, we converted about 95% of that to precast from cast in wow. place design across four blocks. Wow. So uh, I think anybody can do that, but you have to look for it and you have to start from the beginning. I, I think the trick is, is that as precast producers, we all know what the advantages of precast concrete are. The hard part is going out and selling that to the specifier and the owner. We all have the capability to do it. And PCA gives us the tools to do that. We've just got to get out of the office and go out and see them. The secret to that is to get into that engineer and that specifier early on and say, hey, look, mm -hmm. let's look at this with precast. Or as the project is bidding and it comes out cast in place, mm -hmm. you go right back to those companies, that engineer and specifier, and say, hey, would you look at a precast alternative for that? John, I wonder if you could walk through with me the, the process, the conversion process, and sort of the, uh, the group of people that you spoke with you know, to make the necessary specification changes that What we did. find is the contractor is usually the easy sell. They understand the dollar value of cost savings, mm -hmm. less time, less production. They get that. The next one's the engineer and the architect. And what we usually find is that you have to show them, okay, here's our precast alternative to what you're doing is cast in place. So we'll do some simple concept sketches, maybe some light drawings, get a packet together, go in and say, look, if you consider precast, here's the advantages of using precast on this mm -hmm. project. Nine times out of ten, you don't have to get into long, detailed, fully stamped drawings in order to sell the idea. And then, of course, once you sell the idea, then you have to sit and do the hard work, which is, okay, how are we going to engineer it? How are we going to put it together so sure. that we truly have a, a good precast product? But, but the sale of doing it is usually relatively simple. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it doesn't take a lot of engineering effort, and you don't have to be an engineer to do it. John, I wonder if we could talk a little bit about the quality control aspect of the production of the material and how that may have lent itself to uh, giving uh, a better feeling about using precast well, by, on a project like this. By using modular components, you know, the owner had some assurance that they were going to get consistent pieces, consistent form work. Every piece was going to show up and be the same. With a mixed design that was tested, done, mm -hmm. QC in the plant, every piece marked by date, production date. You can go back and pull that mixed design out, know what the concrete strength was, what the reinforcing was in it. Given size, given form, given function, generally precast is going to be a good alternative for most people mm -hmm. because although the per unit cost may not be lower, what you're looking at in job site labor savings, what you're looking at in safety, shoring, your erection time, 
certainly gives precast a huge advantage over cast in place. So you really need to talk precast, tell them what the advantages are, communicate to them on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and don't ever be bashful about taking an opportunity to take a cast in place project and turn that into a precast alternative. John, I really appreciate you taking the time to come out and explain you know, the process of converting a project from uh, poured in place to precast and all the elements that go along with that in terms of working with the specifying community from start to finish and, and uh, going through those benefits and how it lent itself to a successful project. Uh, I'm glad to do it, Rich. Anytime a precaster can steal a cast-in-place job, it helps float the boat for all of us, so I'm glad to do it. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. Yep.